This is the uh, TCAP practice test uh, for grade 7. This is the math section. Question number 19. The line graph below shows the number of miles Allen ran while training for a marathon during each of five weeks. Based on the graph, which conclusion is not true? So this means we're going to have to use elimination. We have to figure out which ones are true and which ones are not. Now, if you have this sort of thing, it might be easier to go ahead and mark up each one of the dots to show what their numeric value is or what number they are. That way, when you go back and make your comparisons, it's easier than having to rethink it over and over and over again. So in the first one, in week one, right here, I'm at 5. So I'm just going to write a 5 over top of that. At week 2, I'm up at 15. At week 3, I'm probably somewhere around, uh, you know, close to 2, maybe 2.5 at best, so 2.5, whatever. And at week 5, I'm all the way up at 20. With the numbers, it makes it easier for me to see later. Uh, A says the number of miles Alan ran during week five is about four times the number of miles he ran during week one. So all I need to do to see that is look at week one, and it's five, of course. So I do five times four, which is 20. And in week five, he was going 20. So I think A is a reasonable answer. And since we're looking for one that's not true, I'm going to mark out A because it is true. Now, B says the number of miles Alan ran during week three, which is, of course, about two, is about three miles less than the number he ran on week one. Well, on week one, he ran five, and so I'm going to do three less, so I do five minus three, and it gives me two, which is exactly what I would expect it to be. So I'm going to put uh, a mark through B, but not all the way through, because maybe I picked the wrong number, right? Uh, C says, the difference between the number of miles that Alan ran during week 2 and the number he ran during week 3 is less than 15. Well, in week 2, he ran 15. In week 3, he ran 2. So they say the difference. Now, the difference doesn't mean that they look different or some other weirdness. Difference is a math word for subtract. So if I do 15 minus 2... I get 13, and that is certainly less than the 15 that they predict, so C is probably out as well. So the answer that's not true is probably D, but let's check. D says the difference between the number of miles Alan ran during week 2, which of course is 15, and the number of miles he ran during week 4, which I forgot to mark, but is somewhere around 12, is greater than 5. So I'm going to find the difference. So I do 15 minus 12, and I get 3. But it says that the answer is supposed to be greater than 5. It's not. It's just 3. So the answer that doesn't make any sense is D. So if you mark the little graph up with numbers, sorry, I forgot about that one. At least I noticed later, right? Um, you can go back and make the markouts really simple and easy, and it should help you get the right answer much more quickly than just trying to guess. I mean, you'll get the right answer quicker by guessing, but it probably give you the wrong answer. So either way.